Hey, I'm Janet, the CEO and founder of World Anvil, and a professional author and game writer. In this quick video, I'll take you through a tour of the World Anvil UI. This top bar is your account-wide stuff. Click here to switch between your worlds, or to create a new one. If you play role-playing games, you can activate your RPG campaigns or player characters from here. You'll also find your account notebook, which is a great place for organizing your thoughts. You can see news about new features on World Anvil, education and help resources, or free online events. Community is a portal to other worlds, to novels and stories published on World Anvil, to award-winning world building and RPG stat block libraries that you can plunder or add to if you like. If you're a beginner world builder, follow our How to Start World Building course to get started with your new world building project and learn World Anvil at the same time. Click Learn for our help guides and our documentation. As a reminder, if you're looking for help, you can always find it here by clicking the question mark. Click your profile picture to manage your account settings, edit your author profile, and a bunch of other options too. Now, the left sidebar. Everything here is about your currently active world or your RPG character. It's where you can access your world's content and your world's settings. You can expand, collapse, and close the left sidebar like this. From this sidebar, you can explore your world's dashboard, search your world, and get an overview of your world's content. Your articles, maps, timelines, novels and campaigns, images, and other world-building content. You can review your content from the slide-out menus and find help here. To create something new, press the green Create button. When you first set up your World Anvil account, you picked a persona – author, game master, world builder, or player. That defined how your account looks to start with. Game masters see RPG stat blocks on the sidebar by default, and writers see manuscripts, our novel writing software. But maybe you want to mix and match your features. Perhaps, like me, you write novels and you run campaigns. At any time, you can go here to select the features that you want to see on your interface. Just click to enable or disable feature groups. World Anvil is a robust world building toolset with many tools and features. If you need it, the chances are we have it. But remember, you don't need to use every single feature in every single project. I have worlds with 10 timelines and some without any. Some worlds might need lots of maps and others none at all. The tools are there to serve you and your creativity, not the other way around. So far, we've explored the edit interface of your world, where you'll write and world build. But your world also has a presentation mode, the place that your players and readers will see. Click here to see the homepage of your world as others see it. Take some time to explore your world's homepage, how your categories and articles look to other people. In the next video, we'll talk about customizing the way your world looks to others and how to share your work or hide it. When you're ready, you can go back to the edit mode by clicking the logo here or the world dashboard button here. And that's all there is to it. Congratulations, you're one step closer to mastering World Anvil. Continue with the Get Started Wizard to explore each of the core tools in turn. That'll help you learn World Anvil step by step without getting overwhelmed. But for now, grab your hammer and go world build.